Was my girl, was she gone? She was, was beautiful the night I said I can't believe it, what she said I look at her Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com here today talking about finding your very own Strawberry Mountain. If you've followed my content at all, you've probably seen a number of videos, whether it's Adventures On or maybe some attempts, maybe some near misses with respect to Strawberry Mountain. Why Strawberry Mountain? For me personally, with what I do, there's kind of a number of criteria that Strawberry Mountain meets. First and foremost, geographically, like not terribly far. To the trailhead, depending on weather, probably around an hour and a half, maybe a little, maybe a little longer than that, from my house to the trailhead. So not terribly far with respect to you actually getting there. On top of that, not a ton of traffic there. I've actually never seen anyone up Strawberry Mountain when I've been there. I will say that depending on what you're doing, that may or may not be a thing. For me personally, filming, I wanna be somewhere where there's not the distraction of kind of background noise, all these other things. So for me, that's important. But then we get into some of the, some of the other cool parts of it. It's an awesome spot, like visually incredible place, whether they're during the fall, spring, winter, summer, like any time of year, it is beautiful. And keep in mind, the actual hike itself, it's not terribly far. I think about five miles or so. But here's the other part of that. It's not super far, only maybe five miles, but it is always difficult. Like, it is never an easy five miles because on the one hand, you're either traveling kind of in the winter, so you have a lot of things going on, whether it's snow, things like that, or conversely, if you travel when it's nice during the summer, there's no standing water at the top. So you have to hike all your water, meaning your pack is never light. Either during the winter, you have all the extra stuff that comes with traveling during the winter, or during the summer, fall, pretty much any other time where there's not snow, you're hiking all your water with you. So it's heavy no matter what. Another allure of Strawberry Mountain, danger. Not like crazy danger, but enough danger to, I don't know, to kind of to kind of feel alive at the end of the day. A little bit of risk taking, albeit mitigated. So with Strawberry Mountain, one, there is a creek crossing like straight away, which is pretty much precarious year round. In the winter, it's pretty gnarly because if things go wrong, like you're falling in with all your gear, maybe breaking through some ice and now you and all your gear may or may not be wet depending on how you packed your pack. During the summer, same thing, still potential to get wet and stuff along those lines. On top of that, there's pretty much danger of just being in wilderness the entire way, whether it's moose, bear, lions, any of that stuff, which is kind of cool on a certain level. And no, there is a element of risk involved. And me personally, usually I go up there by myself because I don't have a lot of friends where it's like, hey man, I know it's Tuesday morning, like let's go for three day backpacking trip. Fortunately, a lot of my friends have real jobs. So a lot of times I go up there myself. So how do we mitigate that risk and danger? Well, part of Strawberry Mountain for me is the fact that there's actually good cell phone reception across almost all of it. Worst case scenario, a moose like breaks both my legs. I might have to crawl like 400 yards till I get cell phone reception. So there is that also. The ability to communicate in the event of emergency very important with respect to that risk mitigation. But this isn't about me and Strawberry Mountain. I shared all those things to basically give you kind of a backdrop of why I keep going back to Strawberry Mountain and how it basically checks those boxes for me. I would encourage you though to find your own Strawberry Mountain. People have this misunderstanding that to have a rad time, have this great adventure, it needs to be this hellacious like 25 mile hike into the spot they're going to. You can do that. It doesn't need to be miserable to have a cool adventure. 
honestly, with children, you can have an amazing adventure camping in your backyard, transfer skills, all of that stuff. But people sometimes, I think, put roadblocks in front of themselves as far as, oh, well, I can't find a place like this, or I want to go here, but maybe it's too far. Look around. Chances are, geographically, there's somewhere probably pretty cool to you, probably not terribly far away. And somewhere where if there is a element of risk and danger, which on a certain level, I think it's usually a good thing. No one likes super vanilla. And to that end, if there is that, hopefully there's some way to mitigate that, whether it's cell phone reception or honestly just old school game plan of, hey, you will hear from me by this point. Always make a plan. And yeah, somewhere to go, somewhere to go have a good time. A lot of the stuff I do, one, I do enjoy it, but two, I use it as a backdrop to be able to bring you guys reviews. Actually go in, put in miles, put in work with gear so I can speak to how I've used it through all different seasons, stuff along those lines. But don't put things in front of you. Don't create roadblocks. If, hey, I'd really like to go up to like Glacier National Park, but you live in New Jersey, well, find somewhere a little closer. Don't put it off. Like, Take opportunities whenever you get them to go out, have adventures, wherever you might be able to find them. Here's the thing, adventure is out there. The onus is on you to, to seek it out. And keep in mind, even if that place that maybe is relatively close isn't super challenging, keep in mind that every time you go out there with the shifting seasons, depending on where you live, might be even more drastic. It changes so you can have a new experience going out there at different times of year which is pretty cool unto itself but i would encourage everyone to go seek out adventures find your own strawberry mountain and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time you think it was over, but you're better than down. There's a cross on our street, and it just smiles at the same time. It's a you and me, baby. So